I want to say something about uh, the religion situation because it's very connected with the political situation in Georgia. Uh, we are Orthodox Christian and um, nearly like 90% of Georgia they are Orthodox Christian. But this Christianity is not so, uh, it's, uh, it's la like um, um, we are like, a, uh, sometimes I think it's uh, nothing is different between like to be Islamic very orthodox country and to be a, uh, like, um, um, like orthodox and uh, Christian country because, um, uh, because uh, the uh, Georgian um, uh, Orthodox uh, Church has big power, big power even in, on the politics. And the patriarch, Georgia patriarch, is the main and the most powerful person in the country. Um, we have constitution, we have no, but they are trying to rule with the Bible. And it's a very, very, really very strange situation, but uh, for now, uh, many people, even from the church, they understood that something uh, not going very well, and uh, now we have a small group of the people who know it, and the big uh, people who are blind. So if you have been in Georgia, you can see everywhere are the people who are crossing uh, uh, like this, and uh, uh, it was feel feeling that um, uh, the church has a power, but they are not using this power in a good way. Because uh, there are people like blind believers, it's blind believers really, and also uh, the situation with the other um, other religion is very um, difficult because we have also Muslims, we have also um, um, Catholics, and so on, and they are they are pressed of course uh, by the main religion in the country, especially the Muslims uh, were pressed by the Georgians. And it's um, it's after the Soviet system collapsed, and uh, as I know, the same situation uh, is in Russia with this Orthodox Church, and the same situation is in, uh, for example, in Poland because I, I traveled a lot and I am like just uh, looking for. A, I, before I was thinking that uh, this situation is only in post-Soviet country, but uh, last year we had exhibition in uh, um, Brussels in Belgium, and uh, the curator was so afraid that every like policeman in the city know that we are making performance in the city because this performance was about uh, religion, and uh, they were very afraid. And uh, what we did uh, in this performance, we take um, three most uh, famous and street religion in Georgia. It's a Christian Orthodox Church, and um, and also Catholics, uh, and because they are um, in Georgia, Islam and Judaism. We take a movement of this religion and put it in aerobic style of 19th. Style and we did it uh, in Venice Biennial, and uh, we um, we thought that uh, because uh, Venice Biennial is um, it's a big thing, same yes same, and uh, we we are waiting that maybe when we turn back uh, somebody happens with that, but no one understand this uh, performance in Georgia, but then after later uh, we found some very critical and not very good um, comments uh, of course on our video and it's, uh, they of course don't, uh, don't like, doesn't like it. And we can't do it in the street of the uh, Tbilisi because they, uh, they even can kill you because of this performance. Um, it's um, aerobic. It's aerobic when you are making aerobic, but then with the moments of the religion. And we did it uh, seven times in a day, because in Georgia, um, the church, we are praying seven times in a day, from 6, uh, 6 uh, a.m., a.m., then um, 6, 9, um, 1, 3, 6, uh, 9, and 12. And we go get up got up uh, very early and uh, we did three times it in our pavilion, near of our pavilion and the other time in the street of Venice and everyone can join us to do this performance. We did this performance also in Brussels uh, last year in uh, in Biennale and this performance was shown like uh, I think like in many um, festivals um, in uh, Switzerland was shown it and in New York also in Jewish Museum, Jewish Museum.
uh, in Australia, in the Triennale, so in many um, very big exhibitions.